using the TI Inspire CAS handheld. Video 2 Sketching Graphs with CAS Part 1 Entering the Equation So in this series of videos we're going to explore how to use your CAS for graphing. Um, so again your first choice is between working in document mode or in the scratch pad. Uh, so from the home screen if you wish to work in document mode either type 1 or click on new document here to open a new document and then select um, to enter a graph page into that document. Alternatively click on the graph icon down here which will insert a graph page into your current document. Um, or my preference I'm going to stick with the scratch pad so from the home screen I can either type B or I can click on graph here or I can press the scratch pad button um, which is on the left of my touchpad on my handheld. So I'm going to press that, it'll open up the scratch pad. If the scratch pad opens in calculator mode, um, that's because that's the last place you were in the scratch pad. Um, press it again, the same button again, in order to toggle across to the graphing screen. When you do that, usually the entry line, as you see down the bottom here, will be open and the cursor will be flashing so that you're ready to enter an equation here. Sometimes though the entry line might not appear for example, your screen might look like this when you get here. If you can't see the entry line, you can either press tab. Sorry, you can either press tab to open the entry line, or you can press uh, control G. Once the entry line's open, you'll notice that we have this F1 bracket X bracket equals. Um, if you're fairly new to CAS, um, perhaps only in middle school kind of years, you might not yet know anything about this kind of notation. This is function notation and there are big advantages to using function notation in the CAS. Uh, one of which is that by entering an equation here we'll have defined a function that we can then access or refer to using equations etc in other areas of the scratch pad. So this is actually, um, as I said, it's function notation. We would read this as f1 of x or function 1 of x. So one of the key things about that is that it needs to be a function of x. So if you're answering a question where you're trying to draw the graph of y equals 5t minus t squared, obviously we don't change it to y equals, we leave this function 1 of x. But if you were to enter 5t minus t squared into the entry line and press enter in order to graph it, you would see that nothing happens. And that's because your CAS doesn't have a t-axis and it doesn't know what to do with those t's. So I'm going to press tab or control g to open up my entry line again. I'm going to press up to go back to function 1 and I'm going to edit this function now so that in place of t I have x's. And now when I press enter to graph this we should see a graph. So you have some options with the graph. You'll see we get a blue line. You can um, change the colour of the line, the weight of the line, things like that. There's really very little need to do that in your day-to-day -day use of your CAS. Um, if you want to though, um, hover over the graph, it will become bold. Click on it to select it. Then you want to right click and a right click with your CAS handheld is once you've selected an item, you press control menu and that should then open up a menu to do with the graph. So you have options here, um, you can click on um, label, oh my apologies, I didn't mean label, you can click on, you can change the colour, you can change um, the uh, weight of the line, all sorts of things. So let me just escape out of there. Uh, you can change, uh, the attributes will allow you to change the weight of the line, it's currently thin, we can make it medium or thick. You can also change uh, the form of the line, so it can be a dotted line or a dashed line, um, etc. Let me just undo that. So you can play around with your graphs, but really there's very little need to do so. One of the things you might want to alter though is you'll notice that when you draw the graph a label appears um, and that's useful if you've got more than one graph uh, on your um, screen. Um, sometimes though it can be quite large the label, sometimes it can really crowd what's happening on the screen, um, sometimes it might be sitting right over key points of your graph and you might just want to move it somewhere else. So if you just want to move it you're going to take your touchpad and hover over the label and you'll get you'll see your cursor appears as an open hand and so then you want to click and hold in the middle of your touchpad and when you do that it's going to look slightly different on my computer version but when you click and hold on the touchpad the hand will close. Once you've done that, so you can then let go of your touchpad, 
use the touchpad to move the label. You've picked it up now, you can move it to wherever you want and then click again to drop the label wherever you want to put it. Um, so that can be one thing. If it's really in your way and you don't want it there, click on it to select it and then just press delete to get rid of it. Um, I'll undo that. One of the other advantages of the label is that you can actually edit your equation here. So rather than pressing tab and going back to the entry line and changing it down here, you can instead change the equation here. So I can edit what's going on here and have a look at a different uh, equation. Um, so then obviously I might want to draw a second graph. Um, if you want to do that, tab to open your entry line, it'll open that function too automatically. Perhaps now I want to draw the graph of, um, I don't know, uh, y equals 2x. So let's draw that. Um, and again, you'll see it appears at a different colour. You'll have a label, you can move that label around, you can delete that label if you want. You can change the equation using the label or you can use the entry line, um, it's up to you. Uh, so that's how you're going to enter your graph. In the next video we'll look at how to find key points um, on a graph by two different methods, using Analyze Graph or using Graph Trace. So stay tuned for that one.